Hello everyone, welcome to a new and possibly final episode of Superland Crash. Last time we left off, we managed to fix the rocket, but they said there's one more problem, the music module's mixed up, and now we're here to get ripped, so. Welcome to our weight loss resort. Nobody returns to town before getting a super hot body. Super hot. Oh look, a new recruit to slim down. You don't look that bad. I'll get those fatties into shape again. So exhausting. My lady sent me here to lose some weight. Okay. So what do we got in here? Stay out of there. The changing room is only for participants. Okay. I don't imagine there's going to be too much hidden in this location. I've also lost access to all of my abilities. Uh... Oh, God. There's the piles of sweat on the ground. Ugh. So is this just a... Like, little course I have to get through at a certain amount of time. Oh, jeez, here's where they're made. Yeah, this whole stuff. <gasps> you don't have a head! Oh, no! Uh... Whoa. It just makes bodies? Excuse me? Uh, 63. Okay. That's not quite enough, I guess. Hmm. Let's see here. Am I supposed to stack them? Well, that certainly worked for that. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing that yet, maybe. What is that powering, though? What is what is the point of this? Okay, I don't know what that's even powering. All right, bodies. I'm gonna move you over here. It's just so creepy, just to have bodies like that. Four ninety nine. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do exactly? One more round. Like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do because I don't have any of my items. So. What do I actually do here? Besides just stand on buttons? Yeah, I'm just confused about what the point of a lot of this actually is, I suppose. Hello, got a big ball. Another big ball? Am I just supposed to collect a bunch of things that weigh a lot? And Oh, I can't pick that up. Not yet. Okay. Maybe I'm just supposed to collect a bunch of things that weigh a bunch. And then put them over there in that thing? Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. And losing all of my abilities uh, limits my ability to kind of explore as I normally would. Only 14? Really? Okay, that's nothing. Okay, and I can't do anything with this. Nothing really going on here. Yeah, they're just not giving me a lot to go on. Stay out of there. The changing room is only for participants. Can I participate? Uh, maybe, maybe I have to get one of the bigger bodies. And that's how I'm supposed to be able to enter. Let's, let's try that. Maybe if I hold this up in front of me, he'll be like, Oh, okay, you can enter. Hi. Yes, this is me. Uh... Stay out of there, the changing room's only participant. But I have a participant! They're just headless. Uh... <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, they just have more bodies in there. What's the point of all these bodies? I don't know. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well... The only real place of interest I see over here, because I can't do anything with that yet, is over here. So what's the deal with this? What, what What's happening over here? Ow. So that just knocks me off when I try to go across, basically. 
And there's no way to like step in the middle of it or anything like that. And yeah, I still don't know what you power. Are you even plugged into anything? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so... Can I like... Nope. <laughs> can I just kind of... Kind of sneak across here? No. Uh... Huh. Um... Okay. I feel like I've fiddled around for little reason enough. So I guess let's cut until I figure out what the hell I am supposed to be doing here. Because boy, I am confused. Okay, I thought I was onto something with this because it looks like you can like put this ball up here and stand in this little circle thing and something's supposed to happen, but... I believe it just pushed me out of it once it did it. Thought maybe I had something? Yeah, no, it doesn't doesn't do anything. Alright, I found out I can't pick up, but I can roll this giant ball. I'm not sure if that's going to be useful for anything, but I've discovered it, and it's mine. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh. Okay... I'm not really sure what that accomplishes for me, but it's something, I guess. What does that do? It makes me think it's going to decapitate them or put a head on them. Maybe we have to get that one of the metal balls and... Put that... Somewhere? Is that... no? What if I put it here? Then do it. What happens? Oh! Oh, maybe that's what happens? Let's try that. Let's- let's try this. Okay, so... What happens if I stand here? And it decapitates me? Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Now I'm orange. Is it gonna say I'm not, like, big enough, though? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh... One more round. Okay, yeah, I think that's what needs to happen. <clears throat> so... Where was, uh, I think we just summoned the bigger ones over here. If I remember correctly. Yeah, because I'm like one of the smaller ones, I guess. So, let's put you there. Okay, so that's, that's what, I just, there was just no guidance on this whatsoever, so I kind of just had to fiddle around with it for a while before I even understood what was going on. <laughs> like, I was just so confused. I did put you in there, right? Yeah, I think so. Rip my head off, please. Thank you kindly. And a new body. That will allow me to do new things. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, I'm just straight up slower. Okay. Um. Alright. Today, nobody turns sounds for getting a super hot body. Okay, so can I go in here now? Thank you. Okay, but what is the point? Hmm. I mean, I have access to a blue body. That's not how you were supposed to get a slim body. Uh... Is there like a super fit body? <laughs> okay, that's just a normal one. Oh, oh, I know what I gotta do. Okay, so now that we have a slim body instead of like an average body, we're going to be able to get on to uh, those pressure plates over there without actually triggering them. Triggering the uh, jump pads, I mean. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yes. Yes, I'm learning. I'm doing things. I'm accomplishing things in the video game. Jeez. Oh, boy. This one was just so intimidating when I first dropped in. 
because we just lose all of our powers, which honestly is a good thing because if I didn't lose all of my powers, I would I would probably be even more confused. But losing uh, all of your powers is a bit jarring. Wow, we are super fast now. Okay. So now we can just... Yeah. No, by the way, 66 now. Okay, so what do you do? And you summon me a buff body. And now all I gotta do is put the buff body on. And then I'm good. Then I will be adequately buff to pick things up. And also I'm going to be green. So my parents aren't even going to realize it's me when I get back. The uh, king and queen of Redville, I believe is uh, was the name. Okay, no, 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 no. There we go. Get all these discarded bodies I've used and abused. <laughs> all right, so rip my head. Boom. Off it comes. Off with his head. Just off with her head is how it actually goes. I just always think of uh, whenever I hear like off with her head or something like that. I always think of um, the. Uh, Queen of Hearts fight in, uh, Wonderland in Kingdom Hearts 1. What do I was the last resort? I'm fit now. I'm fit. One more round. Okay, they don't- they don't seem to care, but I imagine what I gotta do is I gotta get the big ball up there. Which I can do now, because now I can jump carrying this massive ball. And now we're a weightlifty boy. This is the upgrade I was thinking about that I needed, though, so... Makes sense. Boom. Alright, so what's that accomplish for me? Let's go. Deliver the new music USB stick to the workshop. Alright, we're back. Ooh, you saw all kinds of new stuff. Oh. He jacked all my shit again, and now he's selling it for outrageous am amounts. Hey, all your stuff landed right down here on my shelf. Karma's a little, uh, helpful little madam, isn't she? Yep, so we're just not getting our stuff back. So that was the no turning back point, basically. All we have going for us now is we're buff. Oh wow, we can't even fast travel back? Really, we do We do actually just have to walk back. Okay, wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. So, because that, that boost pad over there wasn't active. Yeah, none of them are. Do we have to solve some sort of puzzle just using our strength? Uh... This is different. Oh, I can just climb up here? What happened? What happened here? Was What, what was here before that caused all this to happen? Like, rings fell? Was it, was it like a fence or something? Weird. Destroy the Sea of Skulls. How? Uh, the gate will open when the skulls are dead. But how do we kill all of the skulls? That just seems insane to me. Can you make it up here? I found your boots. Oh, okay. Can I make it up there? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can by platforming. Oh, that's intimidating as hell. At least we have a ton of HP. Okay, so we can... I kind of like this. It's like a guided little section of sorts. Yeah, stomp damage plus 100%. Yeah, it's like a guided little section of sorts where we lose some of our abilities and now have to solve puzzles with a limited, like, tool set, basically. It's giving us all of our stomp upgrades again, though. Yeah, this is sort of neat. I kind of like this. I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have, uh, hated if they had had more of this in the game, where it's like, okay, we're back to, like, basics with this. You just have to use these specific items to do it. Haha, I made it. Give me. I imagine these don't count as treasure chests. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> It'd be funny if they did. Stomp damage plus 100%. And there we go, my shoes. Hey, everyone. Stomp. This is a lot of enemies on screen at once. You guys like being stepped on? Yeah? Uh, whoop, sorry. I was looking around to make sure I didn't leave any. And you got the drop on me. Hello, you're the last- oh wait, no, there's a couple more. 
There we go. So now we can get inside. Whoa, who's this tough guy? Looking tough. Mr. Tough Bags over here. Yeah, hey buddy, how you doing? Yeah, I am pretty ripped, aren't I? Alright, so in here we go. I just love how ludicrously long our health bar is. Such a big health bar. Nobody recognizes me now, but I'll be able to pick up the big USB stick and get myself home. Finally. Come here, Mr. USB. You weigh a bunch. Never did find that. It continues to taunt me. That particular puzzle that I don't know how to do. <laughs> how unfortunate. Um. Mother, it's me. Clunk, is that you? Mother, I've returned. Empty-handed. I sent you out there to defeat the Skulls. To destroy the threat to our civilization. The Skulls are, um... Defeated? You didn't even return with any equipment. Look at this guy. I'm... I'm sorry, Mom. I'm off to the rocket launch. Oh, that's sad. Maybe killing skulls just isn't his forte, you know? Doesn't mean you have to, like, dislike your child because of it or whatever. Jeez, rude. I don't like the queen. The queen is not cool. Whoa, look at you. Yeah, look at me. Uh... Can I... Can I put this in the right way, please? Damn USBs. Yeah, okay, it's, it's doing the thing. Or you put it in wrong like six times. You did it. These new beats should stop interfering with the rocket's computations. Take off in two minutes. Interloper, Hildegard finally agreed on the sandbox being round. Sandbox is flat though. So let's explore, explore this globe together. The sandbox itself is flat. The world is round. Yes, although building that church was a waste of everyone's time and resources. Anyway, yes, we'll send a rocket right after you, interloper. Save our people from the sandbox increasing number of skulls. Indeed, interloper, your honorable conduct and... ...memorable looks will go down in Orangeburg history. <laughs> yeah, I do look a little weird now, don't I? <laughs> Safety is not assured until we leave the sandbox. All these monsters and thieves. Speaking of which, your majesty, the burglar said he never cracked the vault. Oh no. Oh no, now they know it's me. But it's empty, so someone broke in after the interloper scared the burglar off? Um, shut up. Money went missing from my house too. Yeah, and mine. It must have been... The interloper? <clears throat> you have all of our coins? LOL. <laughs> this guy got all the money. That's what I've been trying to tell you. You want to know how much he's stolen from me? Wait, that's not how it happened. Thank you, Emil. Stop, you're under arrest. Stop him! Yes, run away. Run away, interloper. I can't halt the takeoff procedure. Do something to stop him. The damned villain? Nope, we're out. And there we go. There's the credits. Uh... Is there a way to skip the credits? Because I'd prefer to give my thoughts not over this music. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem like there is. 
And there we go. That looks like the end, so... Now, my thoughts on this. This was really fun. I, I really, really love Superland just in general, so when a DLC was announced for it, even though I had such a painfully hard time with the first game, like having to bend my mind ways it just didn't bend, uh, I still had a lot of fun with it, even though I looked like a fool most of the time I was playing it, so I knew when Crash was coming out that I had to play Crash 2. Because it's just, I don't know, there's just such a unique, or I've almost said set of games, but no, it, it is such a unique game. And I just love it so, 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 so much. The puzzles are cool. I love how a lot of them are like physics based or you have to combine different powers together to get to one solution and things like that. And there's multiple solutions to every puzzle and everything. So it's just such a fun little game altogether. And I can't wait for the next DLC and Superland 2, which has already been announced. Uh, I think the Kickstarter for that has already been funded, and they're definitely working on that. This was actually kind of, uh, the DLC from what I heard was actually kind of an experiment. Um, because they have, like, new writers and some new people on the team. So, so this Crash DLC was supposed to be an experiment to see how they worked together, basically for Superland 2. And, um, as far as other positives go for the game, I would say the, the like, less combat is good. I like less combat, but it kind of makes a lot of the upgrades you get pointless, I feel. Like, whenever I would get the telelocator ball damage upgrade, I'm like, but but I, I rarely fight things, and if I am going to fight, I'm not going to use the telelocator ball. So that one in particular just seemed kind of pointless. It seems like it'd be cooler if they just built some puzzles around some new abilities that you would only get from chests. So, with the lack of combat, uh, being a selling point, I, I think there's just, you, you need less combat upgrades, which obviously this was a DLC and it's built off of the first game, which did have a lot of combat, so it would make sense that a lot of the upgrades you get are combat based because, I mean, that's how the first game was. Or the regular game, vanilla game, jeez. I keep saying it the first game, like this is already Superland 2 or something. But yeah, this was a fun little experience and I really, really enjoyed it, so... I hope everyone's enjoyed this playthrough of Superland Crash, and I will see you next time for something new.